What's up, Sasha Squad? We are back with another video, and today we doing a sit down video. It's been a minute. I don't know the last time we did a sit down video. Me either. I don't really know like what to do. Go in our archives and tell us the last time we did a sit down video. So today, you guys, we're gonna be reacting to your unpopular parenting opinions. I went on my story and asked you guys for some unpopular opinion. You guys had some really good ones. Some that we definitely disagree with, and yes. then some that we do agree with. What we are gonna do is in these comments is be respectful. We're not gonna be disrespectful in these comments. We have opinions. A lot of y'all have opinions. We're gonna be nice. And what we also not gonna do is my mom guilting and mom shaming in these comments. Moms go through so much when they have babies and they don't want, don't nobody want to hear your opinion that is a negative opinion about what they doing. Even like the opinions that we do disagree with, that's just our opinion. And we don't think that you're a bad mom if that's what you believe in. Yeah, you saying that all nice. I'm being for real. Do not be negative in these comments. Yes, sir. <laughs> Should we get to the first one? Thanking your kids makes your kids better humans. What do you think? Definitely disagree. Okay. What, you agree with that? Well, no, let's start off with this. Okay. We are not spanking our child our children. Maybe on the way. No, I'm do, joking. That is, no. Don't put that in there. Uh, it's in there. Okay. We are not spanking our, our children, so let's start off with that. Yes. Now, what I'm saying is I was spanked growing up. So you think you're a better kid than me? No. <laughs> kid. <laughs> no, I did not say that, but I do think I turned out all right because of the type of discipline. But times are different now mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. No, definitely. I don't think that spanking your child makes you a better or a worse human no, they do because well. there's just different ways of discipline. And just because we are choosing not to spank our children doesn't mean that if you were spanked like you, yes. or if you are parenting now and you like choose to spank your children, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they'll turn out better or worse. Yes. And don't so. get us wrong. We will be disciplining our child but spanking them or giving them a hit on the hand, that is not a form of discipline that we will be using. Yeah, but me growing up, I, I definitely got popped. Did you get popped with like a spoon? Nah, not a spoon, more okay. like an iron. An iron? Probably got thrown at me. Wait, what's an iron? An iron? A hot iron? It probably, it wasn't hot. Honestly, it's anything that is in reach of your hand. If you do something bad, then, or the worst is when they text you during school and saying you about to get your butt beat when you get home. So you avoid trying to go home all day. And then it's worse when you get home and they're not there. And then it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna get this whooping right before bed. What did you do to be getting the whooping? That's not important. And how old were you? And that's not important either. <laughs> Next one, this person does not believe in letting my baby cry it out. I agree. I agree. I feel like you don't agree. No, I do. Okay, but cry it out, that definition is literally just laying them down or doing something or whatever and letting them just cry from the jump. Yeah. We believe in, um, like if we lay our daughter down like for a nap or something and she's kind of like a little squirmy or she's making like some noises, a little. a little fussy, I am an advocate for not going straight in there. I'm pretty much an advocate for going straight in there. Yes. But I do think like, this is me personally, that soothing your child and comforting them is healthy for them. I don't believe in crying out, but I know that it does work for a lot of parents mm -hmm. and that's how you like sleep trained your children. Yes. But for us, like Rai, she sleeps great and she sleeps through the night and like she'll sleep through the night and she'll like probably wake up and put herself back mm -hmm. to sleep. But for naps, like we rock her to sleep for each of her naps. Um, a little cry, like when she's in the car seat and stuff like that, like that's what babies do. That's how they communicate sometimes and there's nothing that we can do about that. But as far as just- The cry it out method, we don't- The do. method, yeah, that, you know, that's the actual definition of cry it out, we do not agree with that. Not trying breastfeeding and going straight to formula doesn't make you a bad mom. Okay, yes, and speaking of food and feeding, today's video is actually sponsored by Factor. So if you guys don't know what Factor is, they deliver fresh, never frozen meals to your door and it's so convenient. You just pop them in the microwave and they're literally ready in two minutes. You guys know we worked with them before and they're actually owned by HelloFresh, which we also love, but the difference is the meals are already ready. There's no cooking involved. They also have smoothies. Since having rye, I'll say I haven't had that much time to cook. Baby, you never cook. Because I never cook. <laughs> this is perfect. I told y'all last time, this is like gourmet leftovers. You can just pop it in a microwave. We got mango salsa salmon, tomato bacon and pesto chicken bacon. Greek lemon chicken. And I shared it with rye, which is so nice because I like that I know that in here all the ingredients are like whole fresh ingredients. All right guys, so this just came out of the microwave. I always like to put it on a plate to eat it, but you can also, if you're on the go or anything, you can just eat it right out of the little plastic container. Yup, yup. 
Yeah. Also, it's cool because if you're vegan, vegetarian, keto, anything like that, they have specific plans for your dietary needs. So if you guys want to check it out, we do have a code for you. So you guys can head to go.factor75.com slash joshsav120 and use code joshsav120 for $120 off. That's a great, that's a great deal. Go.factor75.com slash joshsav120 and use the code joshsav120 to get $120 off. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Give some stuff to you. That was <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the question. Not trying breastfeeding and going straight to formula doesn't make you a bad mom. And I 100% agree with this. If you don't want to breastfeed or you can't for some reason and you go straight to formula, that doesn't make you a bad mom. I think as long as you are caring for your baby to the best of your ability, that is what makes you a great mom. And you're caring for yourself too. I just want to jump in. I know yes. I'm not a mom. But like <laughs> thinking about yourself as well mm -hmm. as a, a mom, I know it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you know right off the bat or maybe you've heard or maybe it's just a decision that you just want to do or maybe you have to go back to work and there's like so many factors mm -hmm. as to why people want to just go straight to formula and not even try breastfeeding yeah and that definitely doesn't make you a bad mom no um i feel like that is like the number one thing about mom guilt and mom shaming is like over breastfeeding versus formula and at the end of the day one of my friends told me she was like her kids are a little older now and she was like my children are never going to remember or care if they were breastfed i would rather be happy and healthy and raise them up instead of like stressing about whether i'm going to breastfeed or formula feed when it's really only the first you know couple years of their life it's right. not that deep so this person hates ipads in front of kids at restaurants family dinner should be about connecting I agree. I agree with that yeah i feel like i mean growing up for me like we always sat at the table or tried to sit at the table for dinner and that was the time where you know you talk about your day and you connect with your family mm -hmm. and to have an iPad there. I get I get the concept like when you're out to eat and say your kid is acting up and an iPad will help them just stay focused and not cause a right. ruckus. Uh -huh. But I think there's definitely ways to entertain your children and not have to do an iPad at the dinner table. I agree. And there probably will be some times where Rye will have a phone or mm -hmm. something at dinner and it's just she can just have like as a treat or something like that. But immediately bringing the iPads out and not conversing and not interacting at dinner. Dinner, yeah. I don't think we will be dabbling in that. When dabbling. when does Rye have her phone's first phone tablet? Definitely don't want her to have like an iPad anytime soon. I think like not as a toddler. No. I mean, honestly, we have iPads and phones too. Yeah. So yeah, see, that's the thing. Like I, I it's, it's so back and forth for me because she is going to see us all the time on our phones with a camera. You know, that's like kind of what we do. Sure. And so I don't, I don't want to be like, it's off limits for you. Like, I think there's a balance, but yes. I don't know. I don't think she needs her own iPad, but watch, <laughs> we're going to say this. And then two years from now, she's going to have an iPad. So I don't really know. This next one is baby leash. When you're out in a public area, such as a zoo, et cetera, when they are able to walk. We debated if we wanted to talk about this <laughs> because I know there are people who use a baby leash. We do not agree, nor do we understand as well. Yeah, we don't think you're bad parents. Every time I see it, I'm like, your child is not an animal at all i don't They're think not a dog i don't i and hear hear me out someone down in the comments if you do use a baby leash please let me know why or there could be a lot of other reasons why but we cannot fathom putting our daughter no. on a leash we can fathom home training our daughter or like you know training our daughter to hold our hands hold our hands or act correct in public now we understand all kids are different that's a whole different story but that you have to result to putting your kid on a leash if we got to the point where rye was like not controllable in public and we didn't have a handle on the way she was acting, it would more just be for me, okay, then we can't go. I don't think that's right. No. Having them on too tight of a schedule makes life actually harder for the parents. Wow. I definitely agree with that. Because we can attest to that yeah. in the very beginning. Yeah, I really like that too. I think in the beginning, I personally was all about like getting Rye on a schedule, making sure she's napping at home in her crib. I don't know, I go back and forth because that, I think- I feel like it helped. I, yeah, I feel like that did help that she is such a good sleeper now. I also now we are so flexible with her schedule like some nights she'll go to sleep at seven some nights she'll go to sleep at like almost 10. it yes. really just depends on our day and literally every single day is yes. different she doesn't nap at the same exact time every day mm. she, we know she takes either two or three naps a day but the times are completely different and i will say this like we were first time parents yeah. and we just did what we felt was best or whatever. And if you're a first time parent, give yourself grace. We don't know what we're doing. Like, you know, this is our first time doing this. You can get all the advice in the world, mm -hmm. but give yourself grace. If you have a schedule, stick to that schedule. We will say probably going to our next baby, it won't be the exact same. Yeah. 
Especially in the very because beginning. we'll have a toddler. Exactly. And I also feel like it depends on your lifestyle too, because for us, each day is already different for us before we had kids. Some people, you know, you have more of a rigid schedule. You work a nine to five, whatever it may be. And like a schedule just really works for you. But for us, every day is so different. We don't know when we're having dinner, when we're coming home. This person believes that they should not allow any family or friends to visit until baby has their first shot. I agree with this. So do I. But it's all personal preference. Like we didn't do this, but I understand why someone would yes. do this. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that it is like completely crazy if you decide not to have any visitors yes. until your baby's first shot. COVID or no COVID, um, what we did was uh, everyone had to wear a mask in those first few weeks of Rye mm -hmm. being born and yeah. being in the world or whatever. We didn't want to take any risk or anything with our baby girl getting sick. It was like we said, we we're first time parents, we were new to this. And then yeah. the world that we live in right now so many viruses and so many things mm -hmm. going around we didn't want our daughter to get sick yeah and especially because we have family from all out of town they were all flying so in everyone was getting on a plane so that was kind of another aspect to it i look back and i'm like you know the first few photos of like our family or our friends with Ry, like they're wearing masks yeah. and i'm kind of like eh, like yeah. you know i wish sometimes that they weren't yeah. it's like not comparable like right. i would rather Ry be safe than yeah. you know get like a memory or a photo without someone in a mask yeah. and don't let anyone guilt you or shame you of to do do anything different. Mm -hmm. It's your rules, it's your family, it's your baby. If people don't rock with that, then I'll sell away, go. <sighs> Neutral baby clothing is so boring, LOL. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I feel like this was a shot at us. But the thing is our daughter just doesn't wear neutral No, she definitely clothing. is like, has a wide variety of things that she yes. wears. I don't think it's boring at all. I don't either. I, I think, think it's swag. It's <laughs> swag. I think we said this in the beginning before Rye was even here. I love to shop for Rye with the mindset of like, I would wear that. Yeah. I want you to wear it. Exactly. Except for like, she has some fun things that I probably wouldn't wear. Like she has like, colorful little t-shirts that have fruit on them or yeah. whatever. I wear a colorful t-shirt that got fruit on it. That's true, that is kind of cute. You know? Yeah. Swaggy. It's just another shade of color. <laughs> <laughs> Was that not my line? No, I want to show them my new sandals. Okay, maybe at the very end. Okay. Parenting ends at 18 years old. Definitely disagree. What is parenting? What? Like, what is that definition of parent? I was like, what? To a certain extent, it's like, yeah, 18 years old. You, you can go make your own decisions. Yes. But I, you are an I adult. personally think that parenting never ends. I don't think like, so either. Like, think about our parents. Yes. Teachable like, moments and the things that our parents do and sacrifice for us to this day, 100% doesn't end at 18. Definitely. But I do believe in, like, if you're 18 years old, you got some responsibility. Really? Yes. <laughs> Aw, right? no I don't want her to leave the house. She has some responsibility. You got things to do. I'm just thinking about if we have a son. He's not getting that. Out. Get your butt out and go do what you need to do. Oh. We are not pregnant, Should we wake Raya up? No. Okay. <laughs> nursing to sleep is natural and good. I love to get nursed to sleep. We're talking <laughs> about Raya. Okay. No, um, I definitely agree with this. I know some parents try not to nurse to sleep. And I know there's like all different, I read everything under the sun about nursing and sleep. Really? I knew nothing about that. I mean, I don't know why I would, but at the same time, what's wrong with feeding your baby to go to sleep? I guess some people- I'll be knocking out as soon as I have that mac and cheese at Thanksgiving. So, I mean, I can only imagine a baby. I think because like, you don't want your baby to rely on being nursed to sleep, I guess. I mean, babies grow out of that. When yeah. the last time you seen a seven year old asking for boob milk to go to bed? You never know. It's natural. And good i nurse right to sleep every night so i think it's great baby led weaning is terrifying we do baby led weaning yeah. and i didn't even know what that meant until <laughs> later on well baby led weaning so it's baby led so they are teaching themselves you know like how to feed themselves basically and it's all you have to make sure that you know how to prepare the food correctly for it to be safe i can kind of like agree with her in a sense because i can see why you would be terrified because there's the risk of choking and right. but i think if it's done correctly it's really fun and it doesn't have to be scary. I think so too. I mean, just doing research as well. That's what's that. <laughs> that's a, what you did a lot of. And I feel like that helps in the long run. Cause it's so fun feeding our daughter certain mm -hmm. things. And, and I've learned too, that she doesn't technically need this yeah. at all. This is just for fun apparently. Yeah. Cause like she still has her milk eating her French fry, a smushed up French fry. <laughs> I had to learn, you gotta smush it up to get the potatoes and then put it in there. A smushed up French fry is not necessary. Last one, bed sharing can be done safely and is beneficial for the mom and baby. What about the daddy? Mm -hmm. I'll be in there too, mm -hmm. getting kicked in the I agree with this. I think bed sharing. Really? We've never done this though. We have. Oh, well, okay. It's not, we don't do it every night. No, yeah, we don't do it every We've night. We've only done it like, I can count on like one hand. Definitely not. But yes, bed sharing is definitely, I think, beneficial. We didn't really do it and I never really wanted to do it just because I knew personally that I 
I felt like I wouldn't be able to rest and sleep comfortably knowing that like I don't know that I could roll on her or whatever the case may be yes. but I definitely see why parents do it and especially if you're breastfeeding because it's a lot easier to just be able to kind of roll over and your baby's right there to feed them in the middle of the night yeah. it is really nice because Josh and I have our night together every night and sure we, don't, do. we don't have a baby sleeping in the bed with sure us. Sure don't. Cause I already know when she's a toddler, she's gonna be wanting to come in there and then <laughs> night night is over for daddy. You wanna get your shoes? You have to get them. I said, do you wanna go get your shoes? They're back there. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna show you my new sandals. I just got them. It's really me kind of branching out. For one, I don't really wear sandals. Like no matter what, I just like my toes to be in. It's just like a thing. Look how cute these are. I got them because we're gonna go to Disney World and I thought they would be a comfy shoe. They kind of remind me of like a, a toddler. Y'all already know about my sandals. Savannah trying to hop on board. <laughs> Ouch. Come on over. Also, my feet grew. I always was a five and a half my whole life and now I'm a size six. And I don't know if it was like a pregnancy thing or what happened, but. You know what they say about women and big feet? What? I thought you knew. Maybe that's, that's what they say about men. What they say? <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> There's a spider. Where? Nice. Baby. I'm not getting that right now, baby. Come on, we got Baby, we, we don't just let spiders live in our house. It's okay. If I told you that there's more spiders in the house. Baby, you probably eat spiders at night. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I eat spiders at night? Do you Go. know that you eat spiders? Not just you, but like it's- What do you mean just me? No, I'm saying like everyone eats at least five spiders in their life. In their sleep. Where did you hear this? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Go. 